How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the weekly warehouse update. Oh, opening an umbrella is bad luck inside. I already got a bum ankle. What else could happen? We got umbrellas though. These things are sick. So we actually got these. We've been doing them in person. This one's a little wet because this is Jason's and it's raining outside. Debbie's on us. And so he used this to bring it inside. We got these a few weeks ago. We've been selling them at tournaments and in person only. And we decided, hey, it's time to drop them online. If you're part of our text deal program, you already had your chance at these. Um, and so now they're available to you. Super big, very nice golf umbrella, really fun foundation pattern here, foundation logo here, our like classic background. So you can just rock foundation on the course. It's big enough to protect you and your bag. I mean, what more could you ask for? So umbrellas, first item on the site. One of my favorite things in the world is not spending that much money. And if you're like me, then you're gonna love our certified use section. So basically, these are discs that are technically used, but we've inspected each and every single one of them, and they're all going to fly just like a new disc would, and they're priced individually to how used or beat up they are. And so if you want, if there's discs that you're looking for, or if you're just like shopping around and wanna look through a set of discs, then look through our certified used first, because I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff in here that, I mean, look at these. Those don't look like they've ever been touched by a human. We've got Isaac Robinson. We've got, uh, this is for D'Angelo, right, Hunter? Yep. Yeah, yeah. D'Angelo we've got, Vickers. Yeah, we've got all this good stuff in here. All looks brand new. Uh, and then right now, we've got a special thing going on. We threw a couple of these, a few of these Asathon zones in here. Now, these are gonna be the most used thing that you see on there because they're a special thing because we threw the crap out of them trying to get aces and we're not good enough to get aces quickly. So these Asathon, Asathon uh, zones have been well used, but hey, these are in certified use right now, so go pick them up. This right here is what Blake Shelton calls God's country. We got Innova over here, and we got all kinds of restock from Innova. So I'm gonna just kind of highlight some of my favorites, but let me tell you, your favorite mold is probably back in stock. I saw some Shrikes are back, and Connor was going through here and found some like really domey Shrikes. So the domey or the Shrike, it's kind of like a domey Hades where the dome tends to add quite a bit of stability. Don't ask me how or why. It just happens. Um, we also have some halo strikes. So if you're looking for a great 13 speed flip up, these things absolutely bomb. For most amateurs and slower arm speeds, the strike will actually end up flying like a destroyer does for like a Calvin Heimberg or a 2015 Paul Macbeth. So um, what more could you want out of a disc basically? Easy distance there. Speaking of easy distance, the Sidewinder, great for rollers, also great for just hyzer flip to turn shots. A little bit more stable than a lot of people think when you think of Sidewinder. This is usable right out the box. Like even I throw 400-ish feet and this could be a hyzer flip bomber for me. Like I can rip it on hyzer, get it to flip up and turn. It's not unusably flippy right out the box. Some people hear Sidewinder, they hear Roadrunner and they instantly think, oh, that's a roller disc. It is, but out of the box, you have to force it to roll. It's not a throw it on hyzer, watch it roll type of a disc. So don't sleep on the Sidewinder either. Uh, what else we got? The Savant is another disc that's really, really slept on. It's essentially a beat up Thunderbird, 9.5, negative one, two. Um, back in the day, I used to switch between throwing these and the old CD2s um, back when Eric Oakley and Eagle and them were hyping up that Discmania mold. But the Savant is an awesome, awesome disc. We have it in Halo. It looks like we even have it in Champ. So if you're like me and you love the Thunderbird, but you want something that has a little bit more push, a little bit more flip up, um, try out the Savant, because it also has a very similar hand feel to the Thunderbird. So it'll give you a really good one-two punch there. And then if you're speaking of one-two punches, we have them right here with the Rock 3 and the Rock X3. Again, similar hand feel, but the Rock X3 is gonna be noticeably more overstable. Um, Rock X3 is essentially just a really overstable Rock 3. And then the Rock 3 is just kind of the tried and true point and shoot, a little bit of fade. They're a little bit straighter now nowadays and they were back in the good old days, but um, they fly great. Incredible hand feel, really low profile, board flat here. If you don't like board flat and you wanna be like, I wanna throw a mids mid, like just the truest mid of all time, we also got rocks and plenty of them. The rock is just a domey rock three. Really the rock three is just a flat rock, but you know, it's all the same. But this is like what a mid range is. Mid ranges have become basically fairway drivers. This is what a mid always was. So this is the classic mid range, the mid range that most modern mids were based on. The rock, you can try that out. We still have a bunch of destroyers in stock. We even have some sick Halo Star ones back in stock. These are just the stock Halo Star destroyers, no one name on them or anything like that. They're awesome. The Mako 3 is super underrated. 
5500, just really good point and shoot. Very, very comfortable in the hand. Very, very underrated disc. Halo Boss, the Beast, 10 speed, 10.5, negative 2.2. This is another one, especially in champ plastic, that people read negative 2.2 and instantly think, that's too flippy for what I'm looking for, get out of here. This disc gets slept on for that reason a lot. It starts out relatively overstable. Like you'll be able to really pound this on a little bit of hyzer and it'll fight it, but it's not gonna flip up on you. It'll fight it and then have a good finish. If you throw it flat, you'll get a little turn, a little fade. Um, a lot of people not ha are not having their max distance because they're not throwing the beast. This thing's awesome. And for slower arm speeds, like if you're throwing like 350, this will be a great flex shot disc for you. Um, it takes some power to get it to flip up. But again, people read that negative 2-2 and think it's something that's not. Um, I could go on forever about the rest of these Innova discs. Just check them out on the site. I see Firebirds, I see Chargers, I see Mirages. J I haven't seen a Mirage in eternity. I forgot they were even making these. 3, 4, negative 3, 0. This was the Rolo before the Rolo. I just got dripped on. Absolute blast putt and approach disc. Feels like a mid. This thing's a ton of fun. Uh, katanas, Leopard 3s. The final thing I do want to talk about, though, is if you haven't watched the video yesterday, spoiler alert, I'm now being forced to put an AVR in my bag in my bag against my will. You know, I hate the AVR. I've never loved the AVR. Um, really excited about this. So I actually chose a Halo AVR is the one that's going to my bag. I picked a nice blue and white one because the rule stipulation on it was I had, can't throw it inside circle two. I have to throw approach shots with yeah, it. There's so. no white in that disc. Mine's blue and white. Oh, okay. This is not mine. <laughs> this one's green. Mine's blue and white. Um, but I chose the Halo AVR because I have to use it as an approach putter, and the Halo plastic just feels phenomenal. Back in my day, it was hard to find premium plastic AVRs, but we have them right here, Halo AVRs. But if you're not like you're not into that, we still have your classic AVR. This is what I used to putt with right here, classic grid, mainly because when the McPro AVRs came out, they were 20 bucks. And as a college kid, I found out that this one back then was only $8 and it's the same mold. And so I wanted to be cool like Paul, but I didn't have the pockets like Paul. So, and by that I mean Innova wasn't sending me free plastic. So I ended up just going with the classic AVR. So that's a great time. Or you also have some sick Proto Glow. The Proto Glow is basically just means it glows like crazy. So a lot of fun AVRs too. Moral of the story, check out Innova. We got a lot of distance stock. All right, and as Blake Shelton would also say, country girl, shake it for me, girl. And that's exactly what Discraft has done with their jaw new jawbreaker plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to keep a straight face. I couldn't. Yes, this is a new jawbreaker plastic. Me and Hunter both feel like this kind of feels like the jawbreaker plastic we first threw whenever we first started throwing uh, Discraft aka whenever Paul switched to this crap and then they switched it back to the OG but this kind of feels like going back to that which we kind of liked it's like instead of a real chunky kind of jawbreaker it's more of like a swirly more integrated colors instead of like the blotchy colors and then we've got them in banger GTs we've got them in zone OS's this is my favorite one because it actually looks like a jawbreaker my mom didn't used to let me eat jawbreaker breakers because she thought I was going to choke on them um, and then over here we have roaches and the new jawbreaker plastic as well that one's really ugly which is my favorite I love ugly discs but for those of you that don't love ugly discs you can go for like something like BAM or something like BAM or something like BAM so there's a lot of really cool uh, looking jawbreakers in here and again yeah they look a little different than the jawbreaker you're used to so buy them up check them out See if they fly different. All right, we're over in dynamic territory. And if it's okay with you, I'm gonna quote my old friend, Blake Shelton, right? And the boys around here really love overstable disc, which is why we got the Justice back in stock. So we've got some Lucid Justices. This one's actually, what is this one? That's a fancy Justice. Gold Hollow, Fusion Orbit. We've got some stock Lucid. If you haven't thrown the Justice, the Justice was kind of like the Zone OS, a little faster, the Deflector. Um, the Pyro, all those discs before they were cool was the Justice. This disc has been on the market for a long time, and that means that it was it hit the overstable, really cool disc wave before the overstable, really cool disc wave came, meaning it's getting slept on. Don't sleep on it, all right? Blake Shelton didn't say that. That's Hunter. Don't sleep on it. The Justice is phenomenal. 5, 1, 0 0.5, positive 0 0.5, 4. Pretty accurate flight numbers. Basically, if you want a really overstable approach disc, but you wish they went a little bit farther, but still had all the bite, the Justice is what you're looking for. And like I said, we got it in a bunch of plastics. It feels super comfortable backhand, super comfortable forehand. They're pretty much always board flat. They're going to laugh at whatever wind the course tries to throw at it. You're going to get awesome skip shots out of it. It's a ton of fun to throw. 
just not a lot of people are throwing it right now. So be the cool kid on the block, pick up a Justice, and uh, lower your score. As my friend Blake always said, uh, you should check out the Millennium Quantum Falcon. Quantum? As my friend Blake always said, uh, you should check out the Millennium Quantum Falcon, all right? He really likes Frisbees. And Millennium has this disc. It is the Falcon. If you say Millennium and Falcon together, I don't know if you legally are allowed to, but if you do, secretly, it sounds like a certain series of film. Uh, Millennium Falcon, Whoa. like, like, uh, like it's like you're having a Star battle. Trek. It's like you're having a battle in space. Spaceballs. Spaceballs, exactly. Precisely, Hunter. Um, and this is a 13 speed. I actually was in here the other day taking some pictures of some frisbees, and these feel insane. They feel really, really good. Um, it's a 13.5 negative two two, also known as a certified bomb diggity disc. And uh, you know, my friend Mikey was looking for some bomber discs the other day because he's trying to throw really far, and he should be throwing these because it kind of feels like a little bit like the Strike, but they it says Millennium Falcon on it, which is cooler. And what is the Strike's numbers? Is it same? I think. Is it exactly the same. I think so. Well, it is exactly the same numbers as the Strike. Um, and it's gonna be in the similar plastic to it because it's from Millennium, but nobody's throwing these. So you should throw these instead. As my friend Blake Shelton once said, these discs have a honky tonk but donkey donk. <laughs> and that's the Neutron Pilot. You'll be saying, how do they even get into that basket? With that, <laughs> that, that <laughs> uh, Anywho, the Pilot's a phenomenal disc. I used to throw them. I think we have baseline ones. I'm not tall. I can't get back there. So I don't know what plastics we have. I got Neutron up front though. Um, and a premium Pilot is, Phenomenal. Basically what this disc does is it goes really straight, has a consistent finish on it, really, really comfortable micro bead. I fell in love with the Pilot because it had a very unique glide and finish. It almost flew kind of Envy-esque without being an Envy. So if you're not into gyro, you don't want the outer rim, you're like, ew, get that away from me. Come over to the Pilot. It kind of gives you a similar flight to a lot of the really popular gyro putters without the uh, outer rim. Because I, the reason it ended up coming out of my bag was mainly because I kept doing putter pulls and the only way to get a PA3 in was to throw it. But also because it just had such a unique flight that I just couldn't quite figure it out sometimes. It had like a ton of glide and the fade on it was like, it got really far left, but it like pushed the whole time. You just got to throw it to experience it. Really, really cool disc, very unique. Um, and you got to try it out. So yeah, we've got some premium pilots back in stock. And like I said, I don't know what all plastic because I can only feel the front of this box. I'm certified short. But that's gonna wrap it up for this week's Weekly Warehouse. Really big shout out to Blake Shelton for joining us here today um, and inspiring this. And don't forget to check out the umbrellas, the certified used, and then all the goodies on the site. Just a big restock week this week as we're gearing up for Worlds, which by the way, if you're gonna be in town, come by and see us. We got a lot of fun stuff going on. The wor official world schedule for Foundation is gonna be coming out within the next week or so. So you're not gonna miss out on that. And we'll hopefully see you there. But if not, we'll see you on the site. I don't slap out of this one, Connor. Oh, okay, bye.